Good evening. Welcome to Jim Munley's World of Weather. Clicked on to the Long Range Weather Forecast Discussion for April 12th to the 24th. First, I want to talk about an important system that will be affecting parts of the West. You can see it right here. We're expecting uh, blizzard conditions. This is a GFS. Uh, we have a storm really starting to uh, crank up here in the Colorado Rockies. And you can see that most of it is snow. These dark purples here, I don't know if you can figure it out, but it's dark purple here. That's heavy snow. And then the pinks are mixed precipitation. This will be rain. Now, one thing I want, to look, want you to look at are the individual members. This is the European individual members. And we're going to go ahead. We're going to move along to 12 hours. Then we're going to go to 18 hours. 24 hours. You can see that we have areas of heavy snow. And they're in pretty good agreement. These are all the 25 members that make up the European ensembles. Okay. And then we're going to go to 30 hours. You can see there's heavy snow band working in here and all the members. One thing I want to look at is the um, GFS. Let me see if I can get the GFS. And let me see. Um, let's see. Um, okay, members. And this is accumulation of, of precipitation as we go through the hours. And they all seem like in agreement. I don't know if you can see here, all the members here showing um, this dark purple, this heavy precipitation here on all the visual members. This is the mean. Uh, let me see. I don't know if I have the snow accumulation. I don't have it in the snow here right now, but that's the individual members that make up. We'll go to um, we'll go to seven two hours. You can see we have the mean here for the heaviest precipitation. So uh, this storm system will be moving ahead. We're going to take a look, and we're going to go here. This now it's in the plains. This is two a.m. Thursday. You can see we have heavy snow here rain and we have another system developing down here and then we go to friday now it's bringing heavy snow here to portions of this region of the upper mississippi valley and then we have mixed precipitation and here is the frontal boundary we have heavy rain across this area that's the uh, gfs and then we look at the european And it's showing heavy rain down here, extend to the Gulf Coast. So um, this is a very important system. This will be accompanied by strong winds. Now, um, we also, we're going to go now to the period for April 15th to the 19th. Well, first of all, I want to talk about the period for the 12th to the 16th. I'm getting ahead of myself a little bit. This is what we're forecasting, a ridge trough ridge configuration we have a broad uh fairly deep trough here for this time of year and this is covering the west central states and we have a ridge here so the models are good agreement as we go to the 16th you can see everything here they're in good agreement and now we're going to go to april 15th to the 19th and little change expected in the flow and the ridge trough ridge config, uh, configuration will remain in place so for this forecast period i am forecasting below normal temperatures here i don't think these temperatures will be this high in this area i'm going to be a little conservative for now so i'm going to say near six degrees below normal but you got the idea it'll be below normal and then above normal temperatures here with the numbers of six degrees above normal for precipitation 
calling for above normal precipitation for much of this region here. And the probability of occurrence is 45%. And then we have below normal precipitation here. And for this region, probability of occurrence is 35%. Now we're going to go to the period for April 20th to the 24th. Here we have the 20th, the 24th. Um, we're seeing the eastward progression of the pattern during this period. As, and this will occur as this ridge builds into the west coast. This trough lifts or slides eastward covering the east central states. And that's seen by most of the models here. You still see that the European ensembles keeps kind of somewhat of a trough. Or excuse me, some sort of above normal heights here along the east coast. But um, the other models are showing similar like this. This is European. Uh, now this is a GEFS. It shows a trough with near normal heights along the East Coast. So for this forecast period, I'm forecasting above normal temperatures here. Again, I don't think these anomalies will be that high here. So I'm forecasting anomalies of 6 degrees above normal. And then below normal temperatures are forecast here. And I'm calling for anomalies of about four to six degrees below normal for precipitation. Calling for below normal precipitation here. Probability of occurrence 35%. And then above normal precipitation forecast for much of this area here. Probability of occurrence is 45%. That's the long range weather forecast discussion for April 12th to 24th. Thanks for coming to Jim Munley's World of Weather and have a good day.